In this video, I'll show you how to make our traced walls 3D for our SketchUp house project. First, I'm going to start changing my view here away from the top down view. When we're bringing our walls up to 3D, uh, I want to be able to see it more from an angled view. So I'm going to, going to take the orbit tool. So to drag this out to, to seeing it at, at a bit of an angle. Now that I've got a, a view that I like better, uh, to make these walls 3D, we're going to use the push-pull tool. So click push-pull. And as you bring your mouse cursor over to the walls, as you hover over a wall section, you'll see that the area of the wall gets shaded. You'll see these uh, blue-purple dots uh, showing up all throughout the wall section. That's showing you uh, what you're actually going to be pushing and pulling. So as you get to your wall section and it's shaded with these dots, we'll click the mouse once. And if you start moving your mouse upwards, you'll see that the wall sections are starting to rise up. Now at the bottom right corner of the screen, we'll see the distance. This is how far right now we're pulling these walls up, how tall the walls are. And right now, as I stop there, uh, the walls were uh, 3 feet, 11 and 1 eighth inches tall. We're going to make these walls all a standard height of 8 feet. So to do that, I'm going to just press 8 on the keyboard and apostrophe. Apostrophe is shorthand for feet. And I'll press enter to accept those dimensions. So right now all of the walls here that were shaded that I was pulling up have been pulled up to exactly 8 feet tall. Now you'll notice I have one section of wall that wasn't connected with all the rest. And so right now it's still sitting here, not pulled up. We need to pull it up. Uh, so I could do this the same way that I just showed you. I could hover over it, click once, pull it up, and then type in eight feet. Or I could show you a trick where if I already have another wall that's at the height I want it to be, I can just take my cursor on the push-pull tool and hover over a wall of the height that I'd like my new wall to get to and click. And so I use that existing wall that I already pulled up as a guide to bring that new wall section up without having to type it in again. It could be a handy trick. might make things go a little quicker. All right, at this point, all of our walls for this house model are 3D. It's looking pretty good. Hopefully yours is as well. And that's it for this video. All right. Good work. Don't forget to save your good work. And we'll see you in the next video.